What's up? Let's go. Okay, I'm... I can't tell you how excited I am about this music video. Because I've been putting it off for so freaking long. There are no captions. Holy shit. But this sounds so beautiful. Let's take it back. And let's bring up the lyrics. Let's watch this music video first. Because I feel like... I'm not gonna have much to say first. Let's turn it up. Holy shit. Who the hell are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's take it back to that unexpectedly uh, heavy section. There's fucking growls. This might be the best song I checked out on this channel. Or maybe I'm just way too excited. But um, let's take it back. Not much to say. I'm not going to talk yet. Because I have no idea what I'm speaking about. Because there are no captions. Just when I thought it sounded like Dreamcatcher, they were like, we're not Dreamcatcher. And they just went with the growls. I love these girls. Holy shit. There's no way there's gonna be a breakdown, right? Oh, oh okay. 
For a second there I thought, oh my god. Um Let's pull up the lyrics and see what what the hell is going on. Let's take it back. This was absolutely amazing. Okay, so I had to take a bit of a break between the first viewing and the second viewing. And no, it's not just because it knocked my socks off, but I had a couple of errands to run that took a little bit longer than I expected. But let's get back into this music video. We're now going to talk about some of the lyrics and the end of this music video literally set at the bottom, Alice in Wonderland. And some of these lyrics actually do uh, give that hint as well as far as that first verse. I open my eyes to see darkness and you're lost inside. Even if you throw a fit, it's too late now. Time is ticking. You are trapped. The lyrics are very interesting. These visuals are insanely creepy, wonderful, beautiful. There's a bunch of uh, really incredible contrast in scenes as far as that white tree with the almost like the forbidden apple from the Bible with Adam and Eve. Also the white wings that turn black. Literally some of these lyrics are talking about the fact that you wanted this thrill at the beginning of this music video the girls are are coming together almost to to do something that they're not supposed to do i'm not sure if they're supposed to be witches if they're trying to bring someone something back or they just wanted that thrill and didn't realize what they were doing because the lyrics literally say i'm chasing you without holding back you wanted this thriller, you're trying to look for a crack, but there's no escape. So they're Alice and they're trapped. Let's 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 fucking take it back. The blonde girl and the short haired girl girl. There's something about them. They're all of them are really amazing. And this girl that right here this one uh is also quite holy shit the lenses the eye contacts and whatnot all of these traps they're reading through all of these spell books all of these different attires. It's very interesting. Are they talking about themselves? Is there is there like they're they're trapped somewhere subconsciously, but their real bodies are somewhere in the real world? Because we see them in so many different settings with so many different attires. And there's also like this one scene where they are scarred up. It's almost as if they they're going through a battle trying to escape. Maybe they're trying to fight back to get back to the real world, to get out of this uh, this wonderland that turned into this nightmare that was the thrill that they were looking for. But I, I'm not sure, but uh, this is awesome stuff. Also, the red is... Uh, oh my god, I forgot what I was about to say. Like this scene, like those three scenes actually, the white app, the white tree with the apple, the white wings, and then the blonde girl with this kind of pale pink-ish salmon type dress. I think I'm colorblind, but uh, and she later kisses a skeleton. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but this girl towards the towards the uh. Towards the end of this song, she actually 
uncovers the masks and she's under that very same mask. So it's almost like a battle between the good and evil within them and the evil has prevailed. Because there's also one interesting note about the lyrics in that chorus that I want to mention as we get through it. Because the chorus actually, the lyrics change from the first and second chorus to that final chorus. There's a, a slight nuance in the way that the lyrics are written, which is very interesting. Like at this point, they're almost tempted to go. Oh my God. If you see this in a nightmare, you're not waking up. But at the same time, there's something so mesmerizing uh, with, with, with the hair, literally black and white, good and evil. Not sure. She's bleeding out, not bleeding out, black though. So it's like the evil is prevailing essentially. And one thing vocally that I want to mention about this chorus, it's, it's going to sound weird. Some of you are probably going to say, what the fuck is wrong with you? But if you strip down the vocals in that chorus from the instrumental, the vocal melody sounds like a song from the 80s or even 70s. It sounds like there's just something. The second those vocal melodies come into that chorus, it just brings me. It, it, it gives me like this weird 80s, 70s vibes. And then the instrumental come in. And they flip your entire world upside down with all of these drums, these guitars. And then that heavy section after this first chorus is absolutely out fucking standing. I cannot express how much I love this song. And it's literally all of them are consumed essentially by, by f they have all fallen through that rabbit hole essentially, and they cannot escape. And there's an emphasis on this guitarist. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a feature or if he's a prominent part of this group. I'm not sure who he is, but there's an interesting part with him here. And then towards the end of the song, he is featured again in the visuals. Um, which to me, it, it, it's almost as if here he's sealing the deal as far as them falling down the rabbit hole. But then in the end, he is also is sealing the deal as far as them completely being uh, trapped in Wonderland, in that rabbit hole, uh, which is very interesting. Let's take it back because first they were screaming, then they were growling. You guys really know the way to my heart, don't you? And the choreography is very interesting. It's a little, literally like alter egos in, or something. Like literally the evil version of you is cutting through that white fabric. And in another scene, we had that girl who was looking mighty scary, looking through those same... Uh, curtains and you know bed sheet or w whatever it is uh i'm losing brain cells because these girls are fucking knocking my socks off oh. like she's tempted and everything is consuming this girl it's interesting and some of these visuals with them almost like being in battle with the scars, the one girl with the discolored eye. It's almost as if like they're fighting and they're losing that battle and trying to escape, trying to find that crack uh, to escape the rabbit hole and they cannot, which is also very interesting. Uh, this like and the girl with the white tree and the white dress, the white wings with the other girl. Like really representing the the goodness and the purity and being tempted, much like tempted by the apple 
And once you take a bite, you essentially just uh, fucked yourself. Uh, pardon my French. Oh. The blonde girl and the short hair girl is fucking... Wait, so this girl is being tempted by the apple, the other girl whose wings turned black, but the blonde girl who is dancing over the skeleton is this like the skeleton of someone that she wanted to bring back and that's what got her to fall down the rabbit hole. Like they all had their own motivations and they got together and they wanted that thrill, much like the lyrics suggest, even though they were warned. Like somebody, like they warned themselves. Like, once you get into it, you cannot escape it, and they didn't listen. I'm not really sure, but the white uh, flower is getting stained by the, uh, by the blood or the red, which, like, literally representing them kind of literally being stained and metaphorically being stained. This is, this is so freaking beautiful. She takes that mask off and it's her behind that mask. That part, that part is fucking mind-blowing because we have the black and white hair to represent good and evil, but the evil is right on her neck as there's literally an imprint of a black hand, like the darkness of your soul and whatnot consuming you and emphasizing the fact that you have fallen way too far down the rabbit hole and you cannot escape like you are completely done and that will bring me to the final chorus which i want to talk about uh which kind of sets the entire stage for them kind of first being warned about the fact that once you fall you cannot escape the ending though the final chorus creates an emphasis on, on the fact that they essentially wanted to wanted to stay in wonderland like kind of like as if it was their plan or along or they just uh were completely uh in a losing battle and the darkness prevailed and consumed them so let's talk about it in a second this is amazing Holy shit. It's really good to check this song again, have a second viewing because I can appreciate these vocals so much more because they were amazing. I love the way the blonde girl uh, gets her hands up and everyone is like a puppet on the strings. God, this is beautiful. So the one thing that I wanted to talk about in this final chorus is there's a, a switch up. The first and second choruses are saying, I'm chasing you without holding back. You wanted this thriller. You're trying to look for a crack, but there's no escape. You already know. The final chorus says, I'm chasing you without hesitation. Freeze. You are already addicted. You're trying to look for a crack, for a crack, but there's no escape. You know everything. Not you already know. Now you know everything. And chasing you without hesitation, you are already addicted. Like as if like the darkness essentially kind of prevailed, which is a really cool touch. Uh, and you see that actually uh, with some groups that do it in insanely well. Uh, Dreamcatcher comes to mind as far as switching up the lyrics to the final chorus uh, as far as Scream for example first they were talking about how I 
please, I don't want to scream. But then the final chorus actually says, now I'm going to make you scream. So instead of focusing on the hurt, they were like, I'm going to hurt you instead. Same with EXO with Obsession. It was talking about the, the turned off exit light and then the final chorus actually switched it up. And it says the turned on exit light, which, which was like this mind fuck. Here, it's almost as if like the darkness has prevailed in a way. That's at least kind of my understanding. So let's take it back because the girl took a bite of the apple. The other girl, she's behind the mask. The other girl with the black and white hair, everything was leaking black. Like, and the black wings that were white before, like everything just uh, screams like consumption by the darkness and corruption. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing throughout their album there's going to be like a battle and getting through this rabbit hole escaping it perhaps i'm not really sure i'm sure you guys can help me out uh in the comment section please do oh, and i love this little switch up in this final chorus oh my this girl too is amazing all of them are let's be honest And there's the guitarist again. The one girl with the white dress, I believe, who was reading from the spell book. I'm guessing she was pure, but then she got corrupted and she has a butterfly on her mouth, which kind of reminds me of the Silence of the Lambs uh, poster. So like the, uh, the, the pure version of them is silenced, like they cannot escape. And because of that, there's literally like a butterfly on her uh, pure angelic face, like to represent the fact that the, the dark side has, has won. I don't know. This was absolutely amazing. I, I think I'm, I've never been as excited to see what you guys think because I'm sure those of you who have suggested this group and this song specifically, I'm sure you guys know a little bit more about the actual storyline. I'm sure that there is like a, a very big storyline probably going on and I wonder how it will unfold throughout uh, this album. If they have more music videos, let me know in the comments down below how everything works out as far as this music video goes uh, no spoilers obviously but uh i would really appreciate uh you guys' help and on this one because this musically this was uh by far uh one of my favorite songs that i checked out obviously i love me some heavy and that 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 screaming growling section after that first chorus just completely threw me off i did not expect it i didn't expect them to sound kind of like Dreamcatcher and then kind of take it up another notch and be like nothing like Dreamcatcher, but like literally amazing stuff I, I i i don't know what else to say so i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did let me know in the comments down below make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and i will catch you all in the next one see ya